I'm Matt. And I'm Jake. And this is Mobile Solar Consulting in Stewart, Florida. We want to walk you through the upgrades we've made to this customer's Sprinter. And not all of them are related, but some things you might want to consider for your next build. Potentially the biggest upgrade of all is the secondary alternator. So we've got a 48 volt alternator mounted on the vehicle and that's going to allow the customer to charge at up to six kilowatts. They've got about a 10 kilowatt hour battery. So put the math together there. That's recharging from zero to full in under two hours, which is insane for alternator charging. And the, the part that couples with the alternator is the mid city high idle kit and remote start. So that's underneath the steering wheel and that's going to not only allow the customer to idle at high RPMs so they can charge quickly wait when they're parked just sitting there, but also it's gonna allow the Victron system to remotely start the car if the batteries get low and need a charge, just like an auto gen start would work. Moving on, we installed these off-road lights and exterior scene lights and they are wired on two circuits each to our neutrino, and that allows us to dim and turn those on and off from our phone. Now in the back of the vehicle, the customer installed this rocker locker from Moonraker Design. This is typically just a metal cavity, usually unused. We decided to put our 30 amp shore plug in here, and maybe there's enough room for him to store his cord as well. Looking underneath the vehicle, we've got our Artec undermount battery box here. This holds up to 20 kilowatt hours of battery storage. This customer's only got 10 kilowatt hours of battery storage because they have that beefy second alternator and they can recharge so quickly whenever they need to. Up on the roof, we've got a bunch of upgrades. So I'll start from the back and work our way forwards. The Rec Pro 48 volt air conditioner is 11,000 BTUs. It's very quiet, very efficient. This is the first time we're using it, so you'll have to check back in with us in a few months for more feedback. We've got two lighting circuits and one set of wires for a solar panel, as well as a Starlink. So you see four cable glands there. The wires are tucked nicely alongside of the roof rack. The entire roof rack is walkable. So yes, I can stand on these marine grade solar panels the Starlink is mounted in a magnetic but very strong fashion. We've got our junction box here because I've seen way too many people just make a mess of roof lighting. In Florida, with not too much elevation around, this is really, really nice to have um, a little viewing deck on your RV. So we're gonna hop down now and we'll talk about the interior wiring and the Victron system on the inside. So now climbing in the back, we've got our electrical system tucked into this driver side cabinet. It's a pretty typical 48 volt system. We've got our battery protect for our air conditioner so it doesn't drain the batteries all the way down to zero. It's a 48 volt inverter so the wires are nice and small. We actually kept everything up in this top portion so he's got some room down here to work with. And our neutrino, it's a pretty small unit. It's tucked up in the left side here. It's got six circuits with the 60 amp capacity and like I said earlier you can switch all those lights on and off, dim them as you would want to. We have our wake speed regulator here. This controls our secondary alternator. You never want to run alternator charging directly to lithium batteries without this guy. We have two 48 to 12 volt converters here providing 60 amps to our 12 volt panel and also our neutrino. And we have a 150-35 MPPT here. And what a lot of people don't realize is that you need a really high voltage to charge a 48 volt system from solar. And so on a van with limited roof space, we barely made it work. The undermount box is a great space saver. It's currently only available for sprinters. If any of the other upgrades stood out to you, they're widely available for almost any vehicle. So give us a call.